Hello, Martin Hall here, coming to you from the magnificent Lake Nona Golf and Country Club. I grew up in England, and a phrase that works so well for me as I teach golf is, you've got the wrong end of the stick, son. And what that means in England, you are misunderstanding something. You've got the wrong end of the stick. Well, very easy in golf to be thinking of the wrong end of the stick. Lee Trevino, Ben Hogan, two of history's greatest players, did not, did not think of this end of the stick, both in the videos we have them talking and actually as you watch them and their writing, they thought about this end of the stick. Ben Hogan actually had a weighted club, but all the weight was in the grip end of the club because he wanted to swing the top end of the club. He wanted this end of the club to be his major consideration because the height of consistency in golf is when people are waving the club head around. Can you hit the occasional good shot like this? Yes. You can hit some, that wasn't one by the way, but you can hit some good shots like that, but you won't hit many. We need stability through the hitting area. Where does that stability come from? Thoughts being more on this end of the stick, not at that end of the stick. What influences this end of the stick? What you're doing with your hands while you're swinging. Now here's a drill that you can do anytime, anywhere, doesn't need a golf club to get the feeling that will lead to you swinging the club a little bit more that way through the hitting. I tell you what, if we could ever get where we could hit hard enough doing this, this would be the way to play golf, except we can't hit it very far doing that. But the drill that you could do, you could do it in an elevator, you could do it any way you want. Follow along if you will. Put your lead hand out in front of you. Put your trail hand to the side of it. Now as I go back, there'll be some bend in the trail wrist. Now watch this, because this is the trick. Watch how I hit my lead hand. I didn't slap the hand. I'm not hitting with the fingertips. I am not hitting with the fingertips. I'm taking the, I suppose, the bottom of the arm, the heel of the hand. That's the feel I want. Just as if I was hitting something solid with the bottom of my arm, not with my fingertips. I don't want you wagging your hand like a dog wagging his tail, far from it. I want you hitting that way. I want your thoughts to be, as Trevino has said so many times, on the grip end of the club, that you're dragging the whole shaft through the hitting area. Eventually it goes. But don't get the wrong end of the stick. Get the proper end of the stick. And learn to drag the top end through with this feeling. You'd be surprised how strong that feels, and very lightly, how different that feels. Can I do it? I don't know. We're going to find out. Here we go. And that would be very nice indeed. So don't get the wrong end of the stick, get the right end of the stick. And you know why? Because it's going to help you play better.